Hey, everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to give us his take on who the right bet is for your NFL Comeback Player of the Year. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, it's always nice to see a player bounce back after a rough season, and, you know, you can put a few bets in before the year starts, so let's jump in. Let's begin with probably the most obvious choice, right? It's a starting quarterback for Bill Belichick, for Josh McDaniels, for the New England Patriots. And that would be Cam Newton. You can get him right now at FanDuel Sportsbook for plus 340. And if Cam is healthy, seems like an obvious one. Yeah, he has the second best odds on the board behind Ben Roethlisberger, who's sitting at plus 260. Cam himself is sitting at plus 340. And like you said, we're expecting him to be the starter in New England, uh, ready to kind of power up after a, a really tough year uh, last season with the Panthers. If we look back historically, it almost the award itself almost always goes to an offensive player over the past 10 years. It's got nine times to an offensive player. The one time was Eric Berry for the Chiefs. And on top of that, most of the time it goes to a quarterback. So we're looking at Cam, healthy, ready to go. I'm going to say he's going to be the starter you know, in week one, really not worried about Stidham or Brian Hoyer for the Patriots. And if we're looking at his projections for the year, we have him going for 3,700 yards and 26 touchdowns through the air, add in a few on the ground, and we're looking at a solid Cam, hopefully leading them to the playoffs and in a spot to win the award. In fantasy football, Cam Newton has the ability to finish as a top 10 fantasy quarterback. We've seen it whenever he's healthy. When it comes to the real world, well, we've seen him be an MVP. Cam Newton may not be that player anymore. He doesn't have to be. He just has to be better than all these other guys that are coming back from their own injuries. We'll see if he can do that, and you can get him right now on the board at plus 340. Another player that Tom likes to be the comeback player of the year is another Patriot, or ex-Patriot, we'll say. It's Rob Gronkowski, who's at plus 550, and he's not coming back from a major injury. He's coming back from a brief one-year retirement. He got healthy, the back is better than it's been in years, and he's a former WWE 24-7 champion. A plus 550, that's a good number for a former champ. Yeah, former champ in a few different areas, and we're getting that plus 550, like you said. He already won the award once back in 2014. Obviously, he's dealt with a number of injuries over the course of his career. Uh, you know, Coming after this uh, year of retirement, we actually look back to 2018. He really didn't have a good year. Only 682 yards, three touchdowns, You know, filled with injuries, filled with him just not looking good. And I know the Tampa offense has a lot of options, and we're looking at you know what kind of production will Gronk have. I actually think he's going to be out there a relatively modest amount of time, you know, splitting snaps in some capacity with O.J. Howard, but he's going to be very efficient when he's on the field. So we're not going to be looking at 1,500 yards or, you know, double-digit touchdowns. We're going to look at him being a very efficient member of the offense. And when push comes to shove, Brady's probably going to be targeting him a little bit more in the red zone. So I'd like him to be bouncing back and saying, okay, Gronk is back for the Buccaneers now, being a comeback player of the year. A touchdown machine is what you're hoping for if you bet on Rob Gronkowski because he's not going to play every down with O.J. Howard, with Cameron Brady there. We can't expect him to. But the touchdowns being where they used to be with Tom Brady, I think that's fair. He's not coming out of retirement if he's not getting the ball in the red zone to give us the Gronk spike. At this price, it's worth it to hope that we get spike after spike after spike. One last player to talk about as a comeback player of the year, and it's someone that we were waiting on and waiting on and waiting on last year, and it never happened, and, and that's A.J. Green. This year, signs a franchise tag, new quarterback in Joe Burrow. Everybody's excited. He's going to debut in Zach Taylor's offense, and he's already hurt again. And that kind of reflects his number here at the FanDuel Sportsbook, where you can get him at plus 1,000. If A.J. Green plays this year, it's a good number. Is he ever going to get back on the field, though, Tom? I hope so. You know, like you said, already dealing with something in training camp. But the storyline is kind of setting up, as you said. You know, he signs the franchise tag after not playing all of last season. He only played nine games in 2018. You know, they bring in the new franchise quarterback with Joe Burrow. They have the offense ready to go, and he's still dealing with another injury. But if he's on the field, everything is kind of setting up. And if we look historically at the award, it almost seems like they're giving it to the player that has a good storyline. Andrew Luck coming back after missing a year, he won the award. We look at Rob Gronkowski, Rob Gronkowski, like I said, coming back, winning the award. So everything is setting up for A.J. Green. This was a perennial receiver who put up 1,000 yards year after year after year. So if he can be healthy, he can be on the field for 15 or 16 games, he has a chance to win the award. As long as any of these players are healthy, they have the ability to come out and win the award. That's the big question with Cam Newton, with Rob Gronkowski's back, and certainly with A.J. Green and those soft tissue injuries that we've been dealing with the last couple of years. The storyline is there. Green has the talent. 
It's crazy. I actually saw it on my time hop that it was I was deciding between Julio Jones and AJ Green like five years ago in fantasy football. Now Julio is a top three wide receiver still, and AJ Green is trying to win that comeback player of the year. Plus one thousand right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. That's gonna do it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up, Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck with your bets. Same to you. Clearly, I'm in fantasy football mode, but I gotta get back to the FanDuel Sportsbook and to help me do that. We'll have Megan Nunez on the show right here tomorrow. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck. We'll see you next time right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.